Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about a man whose name is Frank Laubach. Um, he lived from 1884 to 1970. And here's his Wikipedia page. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, very interesting man that not many Christians know about. And you should probably. He was a, a missionary to the Philippines, and he was on an island there. Uh, he was actually pretty old and unsuccessful in his work. He was there for a long time uh, in his mission field, and he had very few converts, maybe none at all, maybe one or two. And he was really despondent and um, discouraged. And so he went up on top of a hill and he was praying and uh, I'm sure he did that every day. But in this one time he talks about, he had the idea from, uh, it came from First Thessalonians uh, where Paul says that you should pray constantly. Uh, he decided that he was gonna try to do that. And he decided the way he would pray constantly is to think of God for one second every minute and try to live his life doing that. And anyhow, he, uh, he kept a journal, and you can read his journal. It's a uh, pretty interesting reading about his attempt to uh, keep God in his mind for one second every minute. And if you read the journal at the beginning, he uh, didn't do so well. He kind of failed a lot. He said, you know, I really did. Th I got involved in something. I did think of God for hours and hours. But then as uh, his journal gets on, he thinks of God more and more. He's more able to do that. And uh, the reason we know about him is because he immediately got propelled into world history, uh, spending time with God like that. He uh, uh, became very successful uh, winning over the Philippine people he was with, and then he went on to uh, uh, come up with a, a literacy program that he taught in uh, uh, 34 different languages and 34 developing countries. He taught millions of people to read. He met with kings. He met with prime ministers. He met, went, met with uh, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, the Queen of England. He Very interesting stuff that he went around the world doing. And it was because he spent time with God one second every minute. Uh, there's another guy that people put in the same category as him, Brother Lawrence, who was a Catholic monk who wrote a book called The Practice of the Presence of God. Now, I really think that this is the key to the Christian life, is to practice the presence of God. Uh, not necessarily like Brother Lawrence, uh, Brother Lawrence did because he had a lot of Catholic things that he put in there. But just take a moment in your day on a regular basis and think of God. Think of the fact that the Holy Spirit is in you and he is with you and he loves you and he is your father. And he is going with you wherever you go. Uh, John G. Lake would go look in the mirror every morning and he would say, see that man in the suit? E everywhere he goes, God goes. He would practice the presence of God. He would uh, understand and start believing that God Almighty is with him and in him and for him, wherever he goes in life. If you want to be successful in life, take your father with you everywhere you go.
He loves you, and he is the creator of the universe. Thank you. Bye.